This is Code.org, Computer Science Discoveries. I'm working on Unit 2, which is their web development unit. And currently, I'm on Lesson 11, Styling Elements with CSS. I'm on Level 10 of Lesson 11. Margin. Margins specify how much space should be around an element. Find the margin property in the IMG rule set, OK? So the rule sets are always within the CSS page. Where's the CSS page? Well, if you're not sure, you can look over here. And if you can't find it, always in the head tag, this is what makes the CSS page apply to the HTML. So there should always be a reference. So it's going to be called style sheet. And there it is. All right, so now, we're on the, now we need to look for the image rule set way down here and the margin tag. Well, I bet a margin controls margins. Change the margin to be larger and discuss the effect with your partner. I guess we're partners. Hi. Let's do that. Whoa, that's way too much margin. Let's do zero. Oh, I see how it shifts it. Hmm. Let's see. I had it at 10, maybe 20. Hmm. Let's do, I think, 15 maybe. Oh, I like that. Change the margin to be larger. Discuss with effect with your partner. Choose an element type and give that a margin too. So I increased that a bit. Um, let's add, I want a margin on these paragraphs. I want them moved over a bit. So I'm just going to move these over to get them all in line. And then doot doot, uh, margin. Uh, let's see what 15 looks like on that. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, wait a minute. What just happened there? Oh, OK. It just shifted it over. But that looks. Yep. Yeah, OK, that's the great. And now we have a little bit of space as well. Cool, because our paragraph is only colored by this, by the background on the paragraph. It only controls right around the paragraph. So now we can see our entire background color of our page all the way around the edge of it. I really like that. Excellent. Let's keep going.